What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about my Bose Acoustimas 15 series system. Now, I know a lot of people hate Bose. I mean, there's the people that are like, oh, I like Bose, and then there's the people that don't like them at all. So, it's a situation where either you like them or you don't. Now, I'm going to start off this video by saying I love my Bose. Now, when I say I love my bows, I'm not saying, oh, they're the best sounding speakers in the world. And I'm not saying, oh, they're, they're just so good for the price or, you know, stuff like that. But what I'm saying is, for what they are and the size they are, I actually like them. Because the uh, subwoofer is the biggest one that Bose ever made. It's got three drivers in it. I believe it's five and a quarter inch drivers. It's got three of them. And for the size of the actual speakers, they produce pretty good bass actually go pretty low and a lot of people say they sound muddled but I think they blend quite nicely and it's really just a matter of opinion. The functionality is another thing. They're so small. Like I can take my hand here and as you can see as a good comparison I can literally just put my fingers like that and it's taller than the speaker. And another thing I like is about the reflecting cubes you can kind of put it and it bounces off the wall comes back at you. Stuff like that. I mean I've got a um, Y'all seen this in another video, Yamaha. It's a good amp, 100 watts per channel. But I just thought I'd say that um, for the actual size, they sound good. Now, if it was just the cubes, <laughs> no. But since that kind of adds depth to it, um, it's manageable. I mean, this is a small room. This is just the system for this room. It's just, you know, a three. Point zero channel, I guess you could say, because there's not a dedicated subwoofer other than that right there, but, I mean, it's a good system, it works, I mean, I don't have any surround hooked up, because there's no room, but as of now, it's just my little system, listen to the radio, play some music on, and it actually sounds pretty good. The, the bad thing about Bose is their price. Now, I got these for a steal, I mean, this was like a thousand dollar system, I got it for fifty bucks, I mean, it was, it was more expensive than that, but my grandparents helped me get it. Like it was like I think it was like a hundred dollars or hundred and ten or something, and I put some down. They put some down for me because it was my birthday. But I just gotta say I love them. Now there are better speakers out there for the same amount of money. I got a pair of SVS speakers that blow these away, even though that it does have a subwoofer. Now I'm not dissing Bose at all. I still love my Bose, but for the same price you can get different setups that sound better than others. But definitely Bose. For what they are, they're great. For the price, no. I steer clear away from them for the price. I mean, I would not pay original price for this. If it was a thousand dollars and I had to buy that or a thousand dollars of another audio system, I'd say, okay, I'll just put thousand dollars in my SBS or Eclipse. But anyway, it's just really a matter of opinion. If you're a Bose guy, Eclipse guy, SBS guy, well, just, you know, whatever you're kind of going for, Martin Logan. I mean, there's really a lot of different brands out there for everyone's taste. Everyone has a different opinion, what's good and what's bad. I just want to thank you all for watching. And definitely be looking out because in the future, I'm coming out with some subwoofer videos just for subwoofers. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.